Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Ford Tech Make You Loco channel. So today we're working on a 2013 F-150 with a 5.0 liter Coyote engine in it. And we're doing a simple uh, spark plug change on it, okay? I have a video on this. It's very, very simple. I mean, look how open it is on the good old 5.0. I mean, even on this side, it's right there. Not much to take out of the way. Well, we ran across a real common problem with this engine. I would say the 11 through 14 models, especially maybe even the newer ones. And that is the actual bolts that hold down the coils. Uh, they get rusted and you go take them off, do a simple spark plug change and they break off in the plastic valve cover. Now what do you do? Well, today we're going to show you exactly what you do in that situation. The best way i found to tackle this problem uh, when you come across it. So the problem I'm talking about, and a really good example is right here on number uh, three back here. So the third cylinder back on both sides is the one that's usually going to uh, actually break. All right. And I think it has something to do with the water coming down from the cowl. See that? And it's constantly hitting it, dripping onto it, and um, it, they'll corrode over time. All of them will generally have this problem uh, eventually, but definitely the third one back. So what you do is you go to take off the bolt, do a simple coil change, and boom, the head pops right off the thing. I mean, look how corroded that is. And this can happen on early mileage uh, vehicles too. It's not just the older ones. So, okay, whatever. You go ahead and pull the coil out, do your spark plug change and all that stuff. But now what do you do about that hold down bolt that is broken in there? Well, you don't want to really even try uh, to use a vice grips on there. I mean, you can use a needle nose vice grips on there and try to work it. Uh, don't even attempt to drill them out. You will ruin the valve cover. The easiest way to deal with this is to actually melt the plastic, pull the insert out with the bolt, bring it to the vise and fix it right. Let's do it. All right, so here's a real close-up view, uh, and I'll actually get in even closer here in a second, but you have a few options to pull this out. Like I said, um, a standard pliers, if it's really loose in there, obviously it's probably corroded in the insert. Uh, the insert is brass. You can grab it, you know, try to work it out of there. A lot of times uh, they're pencil thin at this point. You may have luck with a needle nose like this, uh, locking pliers and really tighten it and start working it but again they're usually pencil thin so you want to keep that stud sticking out uh, so we can work it out of there so what we're going to do is we're actually going to heat up the metal part which will melt the plastic underneath it and allow it to come out and then we can torch it on the, the vise and uh, get it out of there so you have two options for this i have an induction heater and that's the method we're going to show today um, but if you don't have an induction heater, and you probably don't, it's best to use foil around this area. I mean, really tuck it all around the area, get really neat with it, and tuck it all around the actual insert and the bolt, all right? And then you're going to use something like this, a mini torch that has that, that pencil tip to it. You see that there? And that pencil tip flame will actually be able to get in there and heat the insert and the metal. It doesn't take much. I mean, once this gets uh, pretty warm, it'll get gooey inside of there, all right? And then you can simply take your pliers with stud attached. That's why I say leave the stud on there. Don't start messing with it. Uh, and you simply pull the whole thing out, insert and bolt and all, all right? So like I said, I have the induction heater. Let me go get it. And we're going to show that method today because it's a customer's vehicle. I bought this tool. It's $500 freaking dollars and I'm going to use it. I am going to freaking use it. I don't want to run the valve cover or take any chances uh, with this customer's vehicle. Okay, so this is going to take a little bit. So this induction heater is just doing the same thing. It's heating up the bolt only uh, through this induction coil on here. And I'm going to do the same thing. Once it gets warm a little bit, maybe a little bit of smoke rises out of there. We're just going to get the pliers and pull it directly up and out of there. All right. But like I said, once, you know, you get some foil in there. You get some foil in there. And you uh, pack it around it really neat and then use that, that, uh, that mini torch. It will... It'll come out pretty quick. 
There we go. You see, gotta be quick though, because it will set. All right, there you go. You see how quick that comes out? It's like a serrated insert. So it's out. Let this dry over here. You don't have to touch that at all. All right, that's gonna cure back up. We're gonna take this over to the bench to extract it. Over here on the bench, we're gonna stick the insert and broken bolt into the vise. All right, we're gonna heat it up and we're gonna separate them over here uh, because it's gonna take quite a bit of heat to do so. You don't wanna do it on the valve cover side. We just wanna get it out of there and do it over here and do it properly. So what you wanna do is take the broken part right here, the rusted out broken part, if at all possible, and stick that part in the vise. You don't wanna stick the insert, which is brass, soft metal, you don't wanna stick that in there, it's gonna distort it. And of course, we're trying to go this way with the insert, so you don't wanna ruin the new threads. All right, so we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna stick it in the vise. Remember, this one, th this bolt, this insert, is gonna be hot, all right? So just, just be, remember that. You don't wanna burn yourself, all right? This one's been sitting for a while. All right, so at this point, we got the other side's holding, we're good, and we're gonna take a standard slip joint pliers and we're gonna just loosen it all right go ahead and heat it now again this is a small amount of metal it's brass it's not going to take that much to get this separated so don't go nuts generally you want to concentrate on the brass insert part of it so expand it away from the the bulk itself so yeah we're just gonna do that and we're gonna test it okay we're gonna see what we can do all right so it's already starting to move so the idea here is to of course heat it and separate and save the insert save the valve cover make the job not too bad actually and uh you know kind of save the day but you don't want to ruin the insert either so just heat it up enough to actually get them free and then we're going to work the insert this way towards the clean threads that were hidden down in the valve cover all right so we're not fighting past that and it's gonna freaking stink this smells horrible right now if you guys ever smelled you know melting plastic before it's it's like that times 10. it's pretty nasty so just be careful, you don't want to chew up the brass insert too much, you know, and we're just going to kind of roll it off there. Now again, we just heated it up once again, it's going to be hot, you might be excited, I want to go put it in, and move on and get this job done, just give it a second to get cool. You don't want any nasty burns on your fingers. So it's coming right out, we're not fighting any corrosion, and of course we're at the clean part of the the uh, stud on there it's just a little dry from the heat and all that as you guys heard earlier all right so right now so you get that temptation to grab it with your fingers and then you have a burnt finger that's bothering for weeks all right there it is there is the insert so what i do is i blow it out like that at this point, the outside's nice and clean of all the melted plastic. That can stay there. We no longer need that. All right, next, we're going to take a brand new bolt, obviously. It's an M5 by 27 millimeter bolt. I don't have any in stock in my parts department for the 5.0 because you don't see them too often. But of course, I have them for the 543 valve. So this one is the exact same thread and pitch and uh, length. So we're just going to use these, even though there's seven mil heads on them. All right. So we're going to take that and we're going to find our insert, which hopefully is cool by now. It's been sitting on metal. We're going to take it. All right. And what I do to prevent this, because it's only nickel plated, is I'll use anti-seize all the way up the actual bolt, the replacement bolt. We're going to take it and we're going to thread it into uh, the insert in here. All right. And we're actually gonna thread it through and we're gonna go all the way through the other side then pull it back out, all right? And that's gonna kind of chase the threads in there. So the way that I do that is I'll hold the insert with my, my pliers. It's cool now, it's not gonna deform. And of course we have the bolt in the center and we'll just simply tighten it through. And that'll clean the threads on there. And I'll put it all the way down. 
I mean, you gotta remember, it's, you know, dry and it's been heated up and all that stuff. A little bit of to it, you see it's going much nicer now. All right. All right, so here we go. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take that bolt, we're gonna coat it again, and then we're just gonna stick it in there, a couple threads, okay? And we're gonna take this entire assembly over to reinstall that uh, insert back into the valve cover. I'll show you guys that. That part is critical. All right, so going back together, this part is gonna be critical, so please pay attention. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our new bolt you see here, thread it into our insert, a couple threads so it holds. We have our pliers holding it. That's all good to go. We have control but without burning our hands, all right? And then we're simply gonna take a torch and we're gonna heat up, we're gonna torch it and we're gonna heat up that insert only, all right? And then we're simply going to take it and we're gonna stick it down in the hole and we're going to put it all the way down in until it's flush, just like the rest of these. We're going to put it until it's flush, and then we're going to hold it. And we're going to hold it until the melted plastic actually sets. So it's going to be hot, not too hot, it's going to be hot though. And it's going to go in, go flush, and then it's going to melt some plastic inside that valve cover just a little bit. It's going to ooze around it and harden and set it back into there. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and torch this one, get it hot. Generally, you just need to torch it. I mean, 15, 20 seconds, maybe. Don't get it red hot, do not. All right, so here we go. You can see some of the uh, anti-seize burning off. So we're gonna stick it right down inside of there, okay, until it's flush. And you can see it still moves around. It's still moving, it's still moving. You can see the plastic bubbling, right? We're simply gonna let it uh, harden around it. And like I said, the, the plastic, you know, the, the metal bolt's gonna be, you know, nice and hot for a while. So you cannot let go of this until it sets. I mean, 15, 30 seconds, and it will set. It's already setting. What has it been, five, 10 seconds or so? It's already starting to set. So you can see it's moving just a little bit still. Pay attention to it. Once you try to release the pliers and it looks like it's staying, great. Let it sit there and let it do its thing. See, basically let it go, and we're good, yeah? You can see it's basically flushed out on there. Now at this point, again, it's still hot. It's still setting. Let it be, walk away, do something else, go on to the other ignition coils while this is setting, okay? And this will harden, and it'll be a good fix, just like the factory in the end. That's all for now. I'll see you guys next time.